and thank you all for joining our real estate virtual brand right. today we will be diving into how innovative brands use out of home to drive search and sales across the real estate industry the past 16 months have been one for the books from home sales dropping to their lowest level since the 2007 financial crisis to current day where the market is booming and demand is outpacing supply across sectors in a crowded and fast changing industry Agents and developers alike must think creatively and stand out from their competitors. Out of Home helps raise awareness for new properties and reach potential buyers in the right place at the right time. I am Courtney Hayden, Marketing Specialist at Outfront, and I have the pleasure of introducing you to today's speakers. First, our Out of Home experts, Eve Wiener, Creative Director in New Jersey, and Chris Mallon, Regional Marketing Director of the South Region at Outfront. We are also so excited to have John Samsel with us today. John is the owner of Samsel & Associates in New Jersey, and he is also an experienced and licensed real estate agent of 12 years. He and his team pride themselves in their innovative approach to the industry, where they combine state-of-the-art technology and their relationship-based services to provide the best results for their clients. But before I turn it over to our presenters, a quick reminder for our audience. Please enter any of your questions in the Q&A at the bottom of your screen. We'll be back at the end of the presentation for a Q&A session with our expert panelists. So now I'm going to turn it over to Chris. Thanks, Courtney. Started my um, share here. Okay, so welcome to Outfront's uh, Brand Builders. And as Courtney mentioned, we are talking about one of our favorite categories today, the real estate industry. And the pandemic has really ignited a booming industry. Uh, that headline is from the Wall Street Journal. Um, so before we get started here, if you're thinking, well, who was out front and what do they do and why do they even matter to me? Let's take a quick look at a video about just exactly what we do and how we could help you. As the most visible media platform in America, Outfront understands its role in creating cultural impact. For us, most visible means connecting with people through canvases and displays that are always on and woven into the fabric of our communities. We are not a channel that can be turned off. We are not an opt-in service, nor are we a paid subscription, which makes it even more important for us to think of ourselves as a neighbor. With that in mind, we have a profound opportunity and more importantly, responsibility to positively impact people, communities, and businesses. Because at Outfront, positively impacting people's daily lives is central to our purpose, helping people, places, and business grow stronger. All right, great. So what are we talking about here today? Well, we're talking about consumer behaviors and how to reach the right audience. We're talking about obviously the real estate industry and how that might have been affected during COVID-19. And then we're taking a look at some of the successful media solutions for the real estate industry, how people have used out of home to their advantage. And then we're turning it over to Eve to talk about what is arguably everybody's favorite portion, the creative. And fortunately, we have a great client here today with us, John, uh, who will be uh, talking with us about his success with out of home. And then we're going to wrap it up with some Q&A. Uh, to, to end our presentation today. So consumers and how do we reach them? Well, as you might imagine, during the pandemic, people are getting really tired of, of being stuck inside their houses all the time. And people have experienced a lot of digital burnout. Well, from April 2021, our survey has shown us that 63% of consumers continue to experience digital burnout as life returns to normal. 45% of consumers try to get outside as often as they can and 38% of consumers are tuning out digital ads. 33% of consumers are spending less time in their phones, computers, and televisions. So what does that mean for out of home? Well, out of home continues to trend upward as a result with consumers increasing the time that they're spending outside. And 49% of consumers researched advertisers after seeing their out of home advertisement. And 45% of consumers continue to notice out of home more now than pre-pandemic. Again, that's from April of this year. And as people get outside their homes, there is definitely this feeling of a sense of returning to normalcy, a sense of, ah, my God, I'm outside again. And I'm, I'm out and about trying to get back to my normal routine. And this atmosphere that they're venturing out into, that they're, they're happy to be out and about in, is where out of home advertising 
is obviously located. And as a result, out of home is being associated with this sense of joy. Taking a look at New York City's return, uh, three out of four residents are staying local. 60% are working remotely, 40% have returned to the office, and 39% of those are going into the office one day a week. And then we're looking at 32% two to three days a week. One in every two are walking or biking more, increasing their exposure to street level media. 82% have used a vehicle in the past 30 days, 74% have walked or biked, and a whopping 97% have taken public transit. And as people have changed up their routines from going to work or, or how they live their personal lives during the pandemic, so too have we found that a lot of our advertisers have, have uh, changed up their uh, formats that they're advertising. I've really mixed it up. So instead of just focusing on one format or maybe even just one or two media formats, they're really mixing up how they are reaching consumers uh, from you know, using street level media to billboards, static, digital, mobile, uh, transit, anything to really change up uh, to, to connect more with people that are out and about. So real estate and COVID-19, what's happening? final ad there by the Duncan duo uh, with the Top Gun ad. So as we've seen this boom in the real estate industry, there's reasons to believe that it's here to stay. So from the Wall Street Journal's article in March 2021, what are the reasons why we feel like this boom is here to stay? Well, millennials are aging into their prime home buying years and demand is outpacing supply. That's huge. And mortgage lenders have stricter standards. We might all remember the last uh, um, um, housing bubble uh, when, and when prices really dropped off, well, a lot of the, the trends that we're seeing today uh, are very positive to show that that's probably not going to happen again, especially with the mortgage lenders uh, having stricter standards. Sellers of desirable homes are showing that they are more likely to choose an agent who uses virtual tours in their marketing package. And this is an incredible change during the pandemic is the way that we shop for homes and the way that consumers are look to buy homes as virtual tours have become more and more of a thing. So much so that 63% of buyers purchased a home sight unseen in December of 2020. That's a record number. And 87% more views for a listing occur when a virtual tour is included. That's, that's incredible. So taking a look at some of the real estate opportunities and how this industry has utilized that home, let's check it out. One would be new development promotions. So here we've got an ad for a gantry, a new, new, apart, new apartment building in Washington, DC. This is a static ad on a bike share, great ad. Here we've got the Duncan duo promoting that they can sell a home in 29 days, guaranteed. This is Tampa. We've got location targeting, urban living reimagined your home in Fremont. This is in San Francisco on transit, love it. Directional signage, of course, this is one way that's very common for out of home as location is so important out of home as it is with real estate. Uh, this is a great ad here in New Jersey. Driving web traffic. So Kate Gomes, saleshomes.com, Remax agent. Uh, out of home is so effective at increasing the effectiveness of your search, driving traffic to your website. It, it can increase your digital search by 40%. 
Listing fee promotion, this is in Washington, D.C. Redfin promoting a 1% listing fee. This is the Brookland neighborhood in D.C. And then checking out some of the media solutions for real estate. Let's see how uh, the real estate industry has utilized out of home to find the right audience, the right location, and the right time. Well, for Outfront, we are, we're in the top 50 markets, reaching 70% of the population on over 500,000 canvases and 5,300 plus digital displays. That's a lot of locations and options to choose from. Looking at Compass, Compass targeted a high population density area with contextually relevant messaging using a national breadth and a local depth. Points of interest, demographics, consumer behaviors, all things they took into account with reaching their audience. And then talking about the right locations, they took advantage of all the different campuses that we have to target high traffic areas in major cities like Boston, DC, Miami, and more. And we were able to deliver, deliver a impactful media campaign for them on static billboards, bike share, and transit along major commuter corridors, high impact, downtown and city center areas. Finally, the right time. Contextually relevant messaging can be very impactful. And here's an ad here from Compass in DC. And I love this message here during the middle of the pandemic. Hang tight, DC, we'll get through this. So that contextually relevant messaging and locally targeted really has an impact in the community. Also checking out some of the other successful campaigns we've seen. Dreamtown utilized high impact boards along busy city streets and expressways to reach a targeted audience delivering 3 million plus impressions to their desired audience, which was households earning 100,000 plus in Chicago. And I love the advertising that they used here, a little satire that they played during the 2020 election, uh, really creative. And then finally, this last one here by William Ray, this, this is a really cool um, thing that we were able to, to be a part of. Uh, we fostered a partnership between William Ravis and the Boston Red Sox. And I'm going to read directly from the quote here of Bill Ravis, the chairman and CEO. It really was remarkable. A single billboard designed to promote our commitment to the Boston market really has become a billion dollar opportunity for us. It's a real testament to the power of out front that seeing this ad was the catalyst for the Red Sox guys to give me a call. I love that. So Outfront delivers. And one of the things that we deliver is trust and safety. We are the most trusted media format for millennials and Gen Z. And then as people think about where to invest a substantial amount of money into the real estate purchase, uh, it is really nice to have that affinity with a brand that is associated or media format that's associated with trust and safety. Also name recognition, 100% viewable. There's no ad blocker that's going to shut this down. There's nobody that's going to keep this ad from being delivered to your targeted audience. And finally, amplification. Out of home is the best primer for digital and mobile engagement. We can deliver on scale your messaging across the country, locally or nationally. Out front edge. So this is what we deliver to our clients to give them an advantage over their comp competition. And really, we think of ourselves as not selling billboards, but somebody who is a part of the process, somebody who's a business partner, from consultation to planning, to assistance with creative and production. If you've already got the creative nailed, great. We can help be a consultant as to how that creative would fit in our space for advertising. And then amplification, delivering on scale across the country or locally, wherever you want your ad to be. And finally, measurement, to determine how effective your advertisement was and how well you did reaching your audience. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Eve. Thanks, Chris. I'm Eve, and I'm delighted to be here to speak to you about creative excellence, especially because creativity counts for 75% of an ad's effectiveness. So since I've started at Outfront, this question has come up a lot, why out of home? And in my previous roles, I worked on the agency side on 360 campaigns, working on digital, print, social, and out of home, I often questioned myself. If there was enough budget, we'd throw it in, but it was not really considered as a starting point. And now that I've worked for Outfront for almost three years, I realize the value and then I, I really feel that it should be started with out of home and even be the anchor. And the reason why I feel this way is because out of home has the power to evoke emotion like no other medium. 
look at these people experiencing transit transit traffic, subway dominations, wallscapes, digital billboards. They are having interactions with this medium like you've never seen. It just doesn't happen in digital. It never happens, you know, translating to social. This is a very unique medium. And this is why I feel it's very effective. We like to say that this medium whispers to one as an individual connects with the ad and experiences it one-on-one, -on -one, but screams to thousands because our billboards and our canvases are located in unique spots that are high traffic areas. So the real question is why not out of home? And at the end of this talk, I hope that you're asking yourself the same question. Take a look at this campaign for Street Easy. Preacher Agency put this together. They were hitting, they were trying to target New York City renters and buyers. They really hit on those odd finds that New York City renters and buyers are dying to find. An elevator, a dishwasher, space. All of these things are fantasies to most New Yorkers. I've experienced it. And when I saw these ads, they were so relatable. They made it a humorous fantasy to find these these types of things for apartments. And they tried to challenge people to go onto Street Easy to find that golden gem of an apartment. And people were so moved by this. They felt it was so relatable to what they were looking for in, home, in uh, apartments and um, buying that they took to social media in order to express how much they connected to this campaign. And it reached 1.9 million social users. Another amazing stat, and also speaking of a not so boring ad, is that 100% of boring ads don't matter. Any boring ads going in one ear and out the other, and we are on a mission at out front here not to have any on display. So I'd like you to take a, a look at this, this creative here, and I, I'm not picking on anyone, and actually this format that we see oftentimes in real estate advertising is working. It's a, you know, a large headshot to your large name and phone number. And a lot of people, you know, consistently follow that pattern. But when you look at all of these, which one really stands out? And I, you know, would challenge whether any of them do. When you're following the same format, the same model, it's hard to separate yourself from your competitors. When we work together, there is a way to do cooler things to take you outside of the same realm of everything that what we're doing in this industry. Take a look at what Reef Point Real Estate did with their campaign. You know, we worked with them to use extensions, which is actually breaking the bounds of the billboard and going right beyond it in order to really stand out. They wanted to focus on the goal of turning your house into cash. And so we literally made a house out of cash and extended it outside the board. When you do this right away, you're separated from your competitors and we are here and happy to help with that. So who are we? We are the studios. Um, the studios is Outfront's creative in-house agency. We are 50 creative strong across the country. Because we work in local areas, we are able to really help you with a local campaign that speaks to local consumers. But we also work together as a team in order to develop regional and national campaigns. We are well equipped to handle on any level. We also have won 150 awards nationally and have been published in um, the top newspaper publications as well as trade publications. And I am incredibly proud of this and proud of this team, but what really sets us apart is our process. We are not a speculative team. We don't wanna guess about your business. We wanna hear straight from you, the expert in your business, what sets you apart. We will set up brainstorms, discovery meetings, anything to talk through and really understand the needs and goals of your business. And when we do that, we come up with a determined plan and design. And we have found that that is much more successful. So learning from you as an expert of your business and really turning that into a campaign based on what is most important to you and what makes you passionate about your business. Here's some examples of when we work through this process, how we can do some cool things. So I love this pitch that we did for Remax. That's an actual inflatable. So we're inflating a piece of the billboard to look three dimensional. So what other medium can you possibly inflate a piece of the board, inflate the iconic Remax hot air balloon and make it look like it's floating above a house and kind of reflect on, you know, Remax agents saying that we go above and beyond. Another great approach um, is using our digital canvases to say more than just one message. 
Deirdre in our Nashville market worked with Waterleaf Apartments in order to really express their amenities in terms of emotions. And each time their ad came up, they were able to showcase a different emotion and amenity that they can offer to consumers. It's a great way to not say just one message and really spread across your campaign. I love this campaign out of Atlanta. This was done by Kat, senior art director. And she worked with the Cole Realty Group to really differentiate them from other local realtors. They discussed how it's really important to separate themselves as an elegant and friendly experience when they work with them. And from that, Kat developed a campaign that spread across multiple, multiple of our canvases. We have the buses, the transit shelters, and then it even spread to our mobile offering. And as Chris mentioned before, the link between those two offerings, you know, it, it really does work so well between digital and out of home. And then because our team not only thinks of, a, you know, one billboard or one single unit, we really think of a full campaign. Kat was able to expand the campaign into marketing materials as well as trade show banners. And we're able to do that because we have you know, a very diverse and experienced team across multiple mediums as well as out of home. Another great campaign that came out of the team in LA led by Mike Moss, senior art director was for homes.com. They pitched this to really express how simple it is to work, uh, to use homes.com. You know, when someone's buying a home, it comes down to the must haves and the nice to haves. So what, we, what they did was they pitched kind of those very common nice to ha must haves versus nice to haves across each of our mediums. And Mike took it even further by pitching a 3D modeled home on top of a bus shelter. So, you know, when you consider being a showstopper as you're walking down the street, a house on top of a bus shelter is certainly going to do it. Um, to make the transition from, you know, seeing this amazing campaign and actually becoming a consumer who's on homes.com, they included a QR code. Um, and you can actually hover over that QR code and it should take you, you know, right now to homes.com. During the pandemic, a lot of people learned, you know, how to use QR codes um, when they never really had interacted with them before. And having the ability to include a QR code on all of our pedestrian, tra pedestrian units allows us to, trans, uh, to translate consumers in real time right onto their website. So it's a great way to eliminate all types of contact information and just direct people right to the site through the QR code. So how do we create all of these awesome campaigns? It's really through a foundation of trust. We are a team of obviously talented designers, but also we really depend on our clients to learn from you as the expert of your business and what makes you so passionate about your business in order to develop a great campaign. And that's because we care. We don't wanna just put something up that we are guessing about in terms of creative that might look good, but doesn't represent you accurately. We want to put up something that you are happy to pass by each day and that your consumers are delighted to look at. And that brings me to a great campaign um, and why we have John on the phone here. So this campaign absolutely came out of trust. So this was probably a couple of years back now, but Samsung Associates is a very unique real estate firm. You know, from the start, we watched some of the videos that John and his team do. They, they express themselves as experts and also show the great ties that they have to the community. And we were really moved by that. We saw his personality come through and how bubbly and friendly and inviting he is. And we knew that the real estate experience with him is different, with him and his team is different than anybody else. So after that meeting, you know, we really discussed, you know, would you be, consider caricatures? And we went back and started illustrating the first one, started with John and Jen there with the awesome pink hair. And we, all of us sort of fell in love with this campaign. Now we're still creating caricatures of his newest agents. As soon as he sends one over, we get excited to put something together. These are the four newest agents. We have Ricky and Leslie and Mabel and Felicia and all of these, there's a lot of heart that goes into expressing who they are in a caricature form. And what's made this campaign for myself even more impactful is that John has taken it to his website and business cards to really create a cohesive look for all of his advertising. And we have a special treat here. I want to introduce John and let him share some of his thoughts about the campaign. Thank you, John. 
Thank you, Eve, Courtney, and Chris for having me. It's a great pleasure to be here with you guys today. And you know what, just as I'm sitting here watching the billboards on the screen, it just automatically brings me to how people in the community driving by tend to just smile, right? Because it brings a smile to your face. And that was one of the biggest parts. See, I am very different, 100% different. I am not normal by far. And uh, Rob, the rep here, he's with me from out front. And it's the truth. And, and I, I, I want to set myself apart in the community, right? Which is very important. We're a very community uh, uh, devoted company. First things first, like we give back to community on a weekly basis all through New Jersey, tri-state area, and even in different states and countries at times. Uh, so like that's what's first and foremost, right? And then they get our name out there and brand it and market it heavily. Uh, I've seen other people's billboards. I've seen the same old thing. Now, nothing against my friends. A lot of them were my friends up on those billboards you had. And uh, we we're all in the industry together. But I knew I just couldn't have myself sit there like this on a billboard. I know I needed to set myself apart and be different. And that's when you guys you know, collaborated with us and came up with a great uh, idea of characters. I, I, I initially, I was like, I want cartoons, right? Do you remember the conversation? And the first one, we had a cartoonish type look. And we put one up and I'm like, Nah, that's what I want. Remember that, Rob? Yep. Um, so then you guys came up with these characters. And you know what? And when I started showing my staff, I'm going to be honest with you, they were totally against it. They're like, you're going to make us look like characters from like the Jersey Shore? You know what I mean? And that's, we're going to look stupid. We're not going to be taken serious. We're going to be this. We're going to be that. And I said, wait and see. Just wait. And when I showed them, like, a, snid, uh, a clip of what you guys are creating and drawing, all they did was this. Oh. <laughs> Tilted their head and smiled, right? And I'm going to tell you what happens to me every day, still to this day. What we do is we switch them around, we move the things, we change the clothing, right? We've been doing this for a couple of years now. We really set ourselves apart in the industry. People recognize them. And if you're driving and walking and miss it, your child, if you have one, will be saying, hey, mommy, daddy, look. They play games. We have people playing games with them and find the characters, you know what I mean, all over the place. And they, they start doing it on social media or they send me pictures through uh, text. And it's like, I seen this, John, when I was going to Newark Airport. And they get so excited. And these are people that really like, listen, the crazy thing is we created a, a social media presence, right? We have a billboard presence. We took it to social media. We took it to our business cards, right? We got them right here. Our business cards have, uh, have it on the back me and my son, um, we taken it to print media as well. So I also print these in newspapers uh, for local papers all over our area. And then I also put these up at baseball fields when I'm sponsoring teams. So you guys are going a long way with the out front name, right? And it's a beautiful thing. Rob even brought me uh, this today, guys. I got a little uh, freestanding, uh, what do they call these things, James? A little billboard, a little billboard. And uh, so it was a very exciting thing. And I'm so grateful for Outfront really um, helping me create something different because I am very, very different. We're, we're a fun, crazy real estate agency. I'm not going to lie to you that mm -hmm. in, we've only been here three and a half years. We've grown from two agents to 63 licensed in three and a half years. In 2020, we were awarded Small Business of the Year, uh, which was extremely exciting. It's actually been 17 years licensed in real estate. Um, I actually started back before I was licensed in 2001, though, but never got this bold, right? Because this takes a bold uh, uh, personality to say, hey, let's put these billboards up with characters to sell real estate, samsosells.com would have, and listen, the message is clear. There's a house, sell it, right? Sell it. And the fun part of it is, I'm gonna share another thing about it. We've actually had, even this is gonna excite you guys, we had people that would come from like New York over to Jersey and they would see the billboards and they would follow them and look for them, right? And then they would Google us where we're located and actually come visit us because they wanted to meet us. So it's a really exciting thing. And it just makes me, uh, you know, bring smiles to my face. Still, when people come in or see me in the street or see my clients, they just smile. 
It just brings smiles to people's faces. And that's what I really ultimately want to do. And especially like, listen, I didn't stop. We've been putting these up. 19, Rob, was it? We started, we started these in 19? Yeah. Uh, do you remember, Eve? Was it 19? Yeah. Now we're 2021. We got billboards up all over the place. We move them around, change them. We keep them fresh. We keep them exciting. And I can't tell everybody yet, right? But our new campaign that we put a little twist on this is going to be coming out soon right eve yeah and it's really really exciting mm -hmm. and of courtney knows about it or chris down there on the bottom i don't know if you guys know about it yet but wait till you see what we do next with this uh it's pretty pretty wild when i met with rob and told him what i wanted i know he went back to you guys and like this is what john wants to do i'm like it was a great idea though right yeah. i think it's gonna really like just you know make our billboards even more so pop in the communities that they're in uh, so I'm really truly grateful for Alpha Media. I'm, I'm not going to stop advertising. I just had this discussion earlier, and um, I explained to somebody that you know you, you need to keep continuously advertising on a daily basis in, in multiple markets uh, to to stay fresh and, and to people are aware of who you are and that you're still there. Because in two weeks, if these come down and all my other advertisement stops, I'm done. People will forget about me. And what better way to to stay in front of people? than a billboard, right? I never in my life ever thought I'd be up on a billboard. I mean, which is pretty impressive to me. My son, uh, you know, my staff, they, they just enjoy it. They love it. It's fun. It's innovative. Uh, and who, who would ever thought? I would have never thought. But I'm so thankful for Outfront for, uh, you know, these amazing designs. Uh, they just become more creative as we go along. We're gonna, I know we're going to be making some new changes to, you know, to give some fresh look and to create some more excitement as well in, in, in the community. Uh, and the first thing first is like, be a part of the community, be visible, right? It's great having a billboard, right? It's great saying your community involved, but are you in the community? That's what's really important. And I can honestly say I'm in the communities. I'm out there helping. Our, our first and foremost thing about Samsung Associates through this billboard campaign is that we give back, right? And that's what's important. And I am who I am, where I am. I'm fun. I'm crazy. I'm feeling really calm for you guys, right? They, <laughs> <laughs> but our viewers out there, uh, some of them might say, wow, this guy's billboards are a little crazy. Or, I don't know if they're not really professional. Well, you know what? When I drove around, I seen everybody's billboards the same. Lawyers, doctors, you know what I mean? Real estate agents, mortgage guys are all the same. And I, I just felt like we really needed something different. And what better guy to try that something different than Samsung Associates. And I'd like to thank you guys so much for having me on. I look forward to uh, a long journey of marketing and advertising with you guys. And pretty soon uh, we're going to be launching my new company. You guys came up with another great, great idea. Um, I don't know if Courtney or Chris seen that either yet, but that was amazing what we came up with next for another spinoff company we have. And I can't wait to introduce that. But if you guys are not advertising with Outfront Media, you need to start advertising with Outfront Media. Um, and I wish I did sooner uh, because I could imagine where I'd be at now. I know I see where I'm at now with the help of out front, right? Uh, could you imagine if I did it years ago? And I guess everything's in the right season. I had to learn just like I hope you guys learned today too, that out front is uh, there to help make you successful just as it helped me become successful and really make a mark in society. Thank you so much. Thank you, John. That was wonderful. It's always great to speak to you. And I think that your personality is definitely exemplified through these, these, this campaign. And I think, you know, if characters are not what's for you, although I think these are still professional and clean and wonderful, and I love seeing them on the street, then we are here to help you create something that is unique to you, that helps you stand out just like the way we help John. Um, and he really helped us understand his business in order to translate that. So I want to thank him and I want to thank everybody on this call for taking the time to listen to us. Um, and I'm just going to turn it back over to Courtney now for a Q&A. Yes. Thank you all so much. That was a great presentation. And John, I love hearing your um, passion that goes behind the out of home campaigns. And I know that that same energy matches from the team at Outfront. They have nothing but awesome things to say about your campaign. And I love the hook for your next one because I'm eager to see <laughs> what it's going to be. <laughs> but we have did receive some questions from the audience and to our audience out there. If you have any, please continue to enter them as we go into this Q&A for the next 10 or so minutes. Um, I can start off with one. This, um, I would say, is for Chris. So 
with a shift to greater online traffic for prospective buyers, what, why does out of home matter for my marketing? Okay, that's a great question. It's a, a question that we get a lot. And I think it all comes down to media mix, right? So if you are uh, investing all of your advertising dollars into one media format, it's usually not a good idea. And it's not a good idea because with a media mix, you can get a well-rounded approach to connecting with people through multiple formats. And not to say that we don't love out of home and we would love for you to spend all your money with us, but it's just, it's not going to be the best idea traditionally. And when you look at, let's say, if you're saying I'm going 100% into digital advertising, uh, it's not going to be as efficient and effective for you as it potentially could. And I say that because studies have shown that the CPMs for your campaign, the cost per thousand impressions that you're, you're getting are going to be significantly lower and therefore more efficient and more effective if you add out of home onto your digital campaign. And oh, by the way, out of home is going to make your digital campaign 40% more effective for search four times more engagements for social uh, and 48% uh, more likely to have clicks on your mobile campaign. So uh, there's a lot of research out there behind why out of home would improve your digital campaign. Thank you. Um, Eve, this one is directed at you, um, says, what is your favorite out of home campaign from a creative perspective? Question. There are so many that stand out to me. I would say the Street Easy campaign that I shared, I thought was extremely well done. They even went as far as hiring like an oil painter in order to really get this romance novel look. So I loved what Street Easy did, but I think my favorite campaign is probably the original Casper campaign for the mattress. Um, I was living in Manhattan at the time and they created these illustrated worlds of people that, you know, really wanted the Casper mattress. It's a while back now, but some people might remember. And I really thought it was so unique. Like when I was on the subway, I was looking at these illustrated worlds and finding little unique pieces of it that I, you know, maybe didn't see initially when seeing the ad. So it kind of came to life more and more. And it seemed like these worlds of people that are looking for the Casper mattress were endless. Um, they created something for everybody to relate to. Um, and honestly, I could see somebody doing that in the suburbs. It's something that they did in the city, but why not speak to, uh, you know, real estate renters and buyers and the different unique things that they speak to in an illustrated way. Just a thought. Very true. Um, John, you received some great comments about people thinking your character matches you perfectly. They're very impressed with Eve and the creative team's work. And they're also hooked by, for your next campaign, looking forward to seeing more. Um, but you actually did get a question. Um, and it's, what did you, when did you decide it would be a good idea to add out of home to your media mix if there was a point in time that you thought it was the right time? Yes, most definitely. I started the company at this uh, office in 2000, end of 2017. And uh, I guess it was it 19, I guess it was 19, right? So it, it, about about a year or so, we've been, I've seen billboards and people going up and I started, I was marketing, advertising, I became into the community and I, I was like, you know what? Something must work with these billboards because like a lot of my friends are real estate companies and have billboards up. So I started thinking about it and I wasn't, I thought, here's what I thought, right? I thought it was out of reach for my size company. And that's extremely important, guys, that the billboards are not out of reach. They're really not. When I, the perception I had in my mind um, that I, I would never be able to afford to capture that market, right? I, mean, I wouldn't be able to. It would be impossible. And then one day I decided to just take a risk and, and call um, the number on the, on, the, on the billboards, about an Alpha media number. And I called and, 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 and wanted to inquire about pricing because, you know what, that's something important. Like we go around with a perception in our head sometimes of what things are, but they're not really that way, right? We think something's a certain way, but until we really ask and find out is to when we really know if it's true or not true, what we made up in our heads ourselves. And I did that for the longest time. I was like, ah, oh, I'm never going to be able to afford billboards, man. It's too it's so expensive. You know what I mean? But I had that caught in my mind. And yes, is it, it, is, it, it, does it, is it costly? It is, but is it, it's not really costly to the you know, other marketing aspects there are out there. I'll tell you, I told a guy, I'm going to share this story real quick. This is really important. Guy came in and sell me print advertisement in a local newspaper. Okay. And he gave me his prices and I looked at him and the ad was 
this big. <laughs> and the price a month was more than it cost me for one of my junior billboards. Did you, did you hear what I said? More. And I said, how, much, how, how many people does this reach? He goes, oh, it reaches a lot of people. I go, how many? About 10,000. I said, 10,000? I said, I get a billboard that's 70,000 plus a week for less than your print ad. He's like, no way, it's impossible. I said, yeah, way, it's true. And so that, that's when I really decided to now listen to this. Let's up more billboards. Let's buy more billboards. Because if they want to charge me this month for print, and I still do some print. There's some other print out there that's extremely affordable. Um, and it helps, right? Because listen, same thing you're talking about. I do mobile, right? I do, I do you guys, uh, they have a mobile campaign. I, I do uh, Facebook, Instagram. I do, I do um, YouTube, LinkedIn, right? I, you got to do so many different aspects. And you got to hit them in so many different ways. So people remember you. I, I, and, and, but the point of the matter I'm trying to make is that one thing, you can't just do one. You got to do multiple. And you got to find out that, guess what? Billboards are affordable. They are affordable for small companies. And I, I was considered basically a small company when I started. I didn't have many people here in 2017, two, two. Now we're at 63. All right? So we had great growth potential. And, and I do um, thankfully say that that growth potential started really heavily growing when I started really getting the billboards up and more people were able to see our brand and know who we are. But once again, I had to be within the community around and be visible to people too, for me. Because a realtor is a personal thing, right? Real estate's personal with people. It really is. Um, and it's amazing. And people walk in here every day about these billboards. And I'm going to tell you, if you think it's out of reach, out front media, because you haven't really called and checked and got some pricing, I think you really need to call and check and talk to them because they really do work with your budget, what you can afford. And they were great. And, and from that point, I got to just grow and develop and change and uh, add billboards, minus billboards. And, and they're really a great company to work with because the thing I love too, like if something's not, you know, if you want to switch something around or you want to do something different, they'll do it. They're not, oh no, you're bound in a contract. No, no, it doesn't matter. They've switched and helped me with my contracts over the, over the last years and with, without any hesitation. You know, I didn't, I didn't feel like I had that noose tied around my neck. So get some billboards, go out there and advertise, be a part of the community and uh, you won't regret it. Thank you. I think we have time for one or two more questions that we're getting in here. Um, somebody, I think this is for Eve and Chris, somebody says, we have a we have regional offices in a more traditional area. What approach might you take or suggest? Our area is generally an older population. Um, I'm happy to, to speak about that. I mean, I think if you're speaking, it, you know, I'm just going to speak on the visual side, but I think, you know, our digital, uh, our digital canvases are a great way to speak to multiple audiences. Um, so that if it is an older clientele that you're speaking to, you can feature those people on the billboards, maybe interacting with, you know, home buying um, or showcasing, you know, an interior with that, with that audience. Um, and we can do that across multiple regions. Um, and because our designers are, you know, across the country, we can work with you, you know, on a local basis to really make sure that you're speaking to the consumers in those regions accurately. And just to add to that, what, what Eve was saying, so I think the way that we could help out there is, first of all, if you have an idea of the audience that you're trying to reach and um, you want to say, you, and you say, this is who I need to reach and this, I know specifically this is my audience I want. Well, there's a lot of technology behind how we can help you make your decisions on what are the right locations for you to choose the best billboards or transit or whatever it might be in your area. Let's say if it's just billboards, if you happen to be in a market that just has billboards, hey, we can help. Uh, and even if it is, you know, it's, it's an older audience, this, we're not your grandfather's billboard company anymore. You know, this is something, there's a lot of tech behind this. And we can help uh, with the data that we have available, with the resources that we have available to say, okay, you supplied us uh, with your audience. Let's plug it in. Let's see what we get. Let's see what are the highest indexing boards in this area. And this will increase the effectiveness of your campaign so that you know that your ad dollars are being uh, directed towards the specific audience that you want. Thank you. 
And John, you got another question saying, have you seen out of home help your other marketing efforts, Facebook, Google, et cetera? hundred um, percent. It really like, so the billboards, as I talked a little bit before about when they went up, it just caused, uh, caused a hysteria amongst people that just would, you know, somewhat knew the name Sam, so somewhat knew our company. And then what they started doing was playing like, uh, what's that, Find Waldo, right? Like that, 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 like when you find Waldo in the book, well, they started doing it on social media. They started tagging as they're driving. Like, listen, don't do this to it, it's dangerous. Hopefully they were stopped. Uh, tag, taking photos of the, of the billboards and sending them and tagging our social media uh, with them and it was it created such a even more of a frenzy right and people were just loving it and then we have some people wait okay stop the car park get out and take a selfie in front of the billboard and then post it on self social media as well um, and then what I did on top of that is when we started launching the billboards um, we, we, we purchased a lot of our artwork from out front and it's very affordable to purchase what they created uh, extremely. That's how it's on. That's how we are able to use it everywhere because we purchased it through them and we print it everywhere now. Right. So they, they don't just hold me to the billboard. I can go print it, put on business cards. I can put on shirts. I can put it in a newspaper. I could do lots of different things with it. And that even creates a bigger hysteria. People, people are going berserk because they're seeing on billboards, they're open or newspaper. They're seeing it on cards laying around places. And it's just such um, an amazing thing that happens, and especially with social media. And then what we would do is we would post. I would post them um, right when it started going up I would post them on social media and tag all the people that are in them with me so that way their friends and their uh, friends and friends of theirs as you know how social media works and uh, would all see the feed and it just it just created such a great love and excitement for people and um, you know so it works it really does and you know what you do with your billboard advertisement matters right if you just stick the billboard up that's great you're going to get some you're going to get some business you are 100 percent right you're going to build your brand. Now, what do you do with it next? Do you just do that? No, not me. I took it to every level. It's posted everywhere. You know what I mean? Dif different social media platforms, as I said, newsprint, business cards, baseball fields, uh, that with little leagues that we that we sponsor, everything that we do, uh, folders that we, we pay, we donate to the schools. It's on our folders. They're the kids' folders that they're taking home to their parents. So there's just so much to do with what Outfront creates for you. And yes, you need it up in the air, and then you need it in multiple other places. And when you do that, my business just uh, just you know exploded extremely exploited. And I need to tell you that, that like, listen, small business of the year in 2020 over here in New Jersey. It was, it was a great honor. Awesome. And Congratulations. I, thank you. Well, I think we've reached our time limit. So thank you, John, for participating and joining our panel. And to everybody in our audience, we hope today that you walk away with a better understanding of out of home and how Outfront can help you. So thank you and have a good rest of your day. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.